Hey everybody, I'm Kent C. Dodds and I am very excited because ChatGPT has added support for MCP. Check this out. So if I come over here to my settings and we'll go over to connectors, then advanced settings and developer mode. This is in beta. They said that this is just focused on developers right now as they work out things, but eventually this is gonna come to non-technical users. And for a lot of non-technical people, AI equals ChatGPT. That's all that they really know. So the fact that MCP is coming to ChatGPT is huge. So we'll turn on developer mode and now I have this create button. And so I can create a new MCP. So I'm gonna make one for my own, Kent, uh, kentcdods.com. And this is um, a blog posts and content from kentcdods.com. And my server is, uh, you, as you can find out, if you go to kentcdods.com slash MCP, it'll redirect you to the about page and we can grab this URL. And it uses OAuth as the authentication. I do trust it. We'll hit create. And then this is going to trigger the OAuth flow. Uh, so once that finishes happening, here we go. Oh, right. It wants to verify um, me. They're being like super duper cautious right now in the early days, uh, which I think is, is sensible, makes sense. So now it's taking me through the OAuth flow. We'll approve this. Come in on back. And um, once they resolve my token, Boom, we've got the server. Now, interesting, uh, they actually have a specification, kind of like an extension of the MCP spec that um, allows you to add a search tool and a fetch tool, and then those integrate more directly to ChatGPT, which is interesting. I'll have to take a look at that uh, a little bit later. So it's kind of cool that they, they've actually taken MCP and they've expanded it even further to add MCP for deep research, um, which I think is really interesting. But yeah, I've got a whole bunch of blog posts in here, so or uh, uh, tools in here. So now I can go add more developer mode at sources, kentcdods.com, oh my goodness. All right, uh, let's try this. What can you do with the Kent C. Dodds MCP server? Uh, let's see, I actually haven't tried this, uh, this just yet. Okay, look for available tools. All right, sweet, let's do this. Okay, great, could you, uh, Find out what uh, are the most popular blog posts. Get me a recommended post that I haven't actually read yet, please. There we go. That should use a couple of the tools that are available. And of course, uh, I could add a number of other uh, MCP servers as well and have them all integrate. And so if I had uh, an MCP server for my calendar, I could say, go ahead and schedule a time in my calendar when I can read this blog post and uh, you know whatever else that I want to do, which I, I think is just really, really powerful. Here, while that's uh, answering that first question, let's do this. Could you update my name to be, quote, Cody was here? Uh, Cody is spelled with a K, thank you. And here, let's, we don't need to think long and hard about this, come on, you can do that. Should be fast, calling tool, all right, yeah, sweet. It wants to get the popular posts, I could probably approve that all the time, that's a read-only tool anyway, so it's uh, just fine. And boom, there's the response. Uh, and here, let's, all the time, get post read. So now it's getting the posts on my um, blog that I, my user account has been marked to have read. Of course, I've read them all because I wrote them. <laughs> uh, and now it's getting recommended posts and now it's going to compare uh, because now it has that in its context. It's gonna be able to compare what I've read and what I haven't read, uh, what are the most popular ones and give me a recommended one. So sweet. All right, and then let's actually perform a mutation. So MCP is more than just getting more context, it's also performing actions. So yeah, I'll confirm. And now if we come over to me, and boom, there it is. Uh, that is so awesome. Uh, I absolutely just love that MCP is coming to chatgpt.com where so many of your users are actively interacting with AI. Get your service in here. This is going to be huge. People will want to be able to just use natural language to have all the different services integrate with each other. And I will teach you how to do this on epicai.pro uh, and go to slash cohorts slash master MCP. At the time of this recording, there are still available tickets. Take a look at this. Uh, it is going to be epic. Uh, lots and lots of cool things coming in the world of MCP and I wanna teach you all about it. So, see you in the cohort.